What up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Amir Perry. Today I wanna to show you guys how to set up your instrument tracks in Pro Tools. This video is gonna be for the beginner, for the novice, for the person who really don't have any idea on where to start. You just got Pro Tools and you wanna know how do I even get going with making beats in it. So this video is for you. If you're a more advanced user, uh, you may not get much out of this, but you might, so continue to watch. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing you wanna do is open up Pro Tools. That's a given. So after it gets open, let's name this session. Let's name it uh, Session Setup. And you can name it whatever you wanna name it, but I'm just naming it this for this video. File type, I like to leave at Wave. Sample rate, I'm always working at 48. Bit depth, I keep on 24. IO settings is last used. Uh, location, I mean, you can save it wherever you wanna save it. But let's uh, go ahead and hit Create. All right. So now we got a blank canvas to start from. First thing you do is go to track, new, and I like to create 16 stereo tracks. So where it says mono, you drop down and create stereo instrument tracks. All right, the reason I choose stereo for everything is I can take a mono track through a stereo channel and it's gonna sound perfectly fine. But if I take a stereo channel through a mono track, it just, you know, it's not gonna sound the same because it's taking away some of that stereo information and taking it down through one channel. So just to simplify everything, I keep everything in stereo. It makes it that much easier when it comes to bouncing out files and saving and stuff. So let's go hit create. All right, so after you've created your instrument tracks, you can go up to window. We're gonna do this in the, uh, the mix window. If you go up to window, you have two options. We have, we're in the edit window now. Just click on mix. You know, you can learn those shortcuts and stuff, but this video is just gonna be about setting these. I'll let you guys learn all the shortcuts and everything. If you go down to inserts and click on the top one, just go to multi-channel plugin, go to instrument. And I'm assuming, like I said, this video is gonna be for the beginner. The only thing you have, you may have in your list is expand or, you know, all of the stuff that came with Pro Tools, like the mini grand vacuum and stuff like that. But let's load up 16 instances of expand. I like to use expand because it has everything in there from drums to synths to pianos to pads to whatever you want to use. So, all right. So to get these loaded, I'm going to show you guys a really sh uh, quick shortcut right quick. After you load the first one, if you were to click on option on your keyboard and click on expand and just drag it over to the next channel, it's gonna load up another instance of expand without you having to go in and, and manually load it uh, through, the in, uh, through the instrument tab. So if we just drag it over, we can drag it over for all 16 of them. And we can have 16 instances of expand. All right, now um, this is pretty much it uh, right here, but I'm gonna tell you guys what I would do uh, if you were just starting. I would go, the first one, I would go ahead and load it up. You know, Expand has four parts. I did a video, another video, talking about how to load up uh, your parts and stuff in my last video, because I made a video making a beat uh, just using the Expand sounds. But anyway, I would go down here and let's say, drums i would go ahead and load up uh where's the hat hi hats menu and i would name this hats go to the second one and i would go down to drums and load up snares menu i would name this snare uh next one i would go ahead and load up a kick uh let's go kicks menu kick and let's just go ahead and let's just load up. Let's go down to drums and maybe load up a, a, a hold on, let's go percussion. Nah, let's just, just let's just load up a, a, another hi-hat toms and cymbals. Um, so we'll just name this percussion. So that way, when I save this as a template, I'm gonna show you guys how to save that. That way, when I save this as a template, every time I load it up, 
I know I got those sounds on those channels and I'm up and I can get working really quick. You know what I'm saying? So, and you can set this up how you want to. You may want to start with piano first, or you might want to have uh, some pads. You might like to sit down and play pads or whatever. You know, it, how you set this up is up to you, but this is just how I would set, a, set it up if I was just beginning and starting. All right, so now that we got that, let me show you guys how to set it up as a template. So go to save as template. I already have a folder for mine, but if you go to category, you can go down to add category and you can name it. We'll just name this session setup just, just to show you guys how to do it. So now we have a new category called session setup uh, and the name is actually called session setup. So let's click okay. All right, so now when we go to save, just gonna save that, close it. And now let's go to create new. Once we go to create new, create from template, the template group, if we go down to session setup, that that template that we just created is gonna be here now. So let's uh, let's cl click create. Oh, we gotta name it something else. All right, let's do session setup one, create. Now that session loaded up just like how we just created it. So now you have a blank canvas every time you want to start a new beat, just how you set it up, you know, and you can go through and create your favorite sounds and you can have a bunch of different templates um, that you may set up that you, hey, I might like, I might want to make a beat with these particular drum sounds for these type of beats or, you know, those, you know, you can switch it up, do it how you want to. So look. I really hope this video was helpful to some of you guys. If it did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.